Let's go in. Spot, please, so we can kill you. Things to think about.
Yeah, our LP is gone. Well, I did do it. Early tanks take the meter, I know. Not an easy one. We're getting silly.
inside. Okay, whatever. A lot of confusion in this dungeon. You're safe. Thank the Twelve. You may have bested me this day. But what of the next? What of all the days to come? Remember, light no longer holds sway here. I may return whensoever I wish, again and again and again. Eventually, you will falter, and the staff will be mine. Until next time, Scions. There will be no next time. This is the end. What? What trickery is this? to gather ether quickly before he breaks free concentrate call to mind the time you struck down la habrea with the blade of light Won't it work? Is it because we lack the blessing of light? Damn it. So much ether. And it still isn't enough. Fools! No mortal prison can contain me! I shall make you pay for your insolence! Mother Heidel! 
Dolan, hearken to our plea. Lend us your divine light. Why can you not hear us? Do our words no longer reach you? If only we had a bit more ether. What are you doing? Master Louisois, I understand now the choice you made. In death, there is life. Farewell, Orianger. You daft old coot. Eternal! I am immortal! Moon Breeder. She's... She's gone. did it, my friend. The Asian is dead. This device is a legacy of Moonbreeder's toils and sacrifice. I shall hold on to it for safekeeping. Minfilia, uh, are you all right? I am. Oh, we were surveying northern Thanalan when we received the distress call. We returned as swiftly as we were able. It seems you have everything in hand, however. What happened here? Where is Moonbreeder? She gave her life to temper the Blade of Light. I... I have no words. Rather than await the inevitable, she took her fate into her own hands. Does... does Orionje know? My friend. There is something I must tell you. I heard all, my lady. The moon sinketh, taking her leave of the heavens, yet her passing heraldeth the coming of a new day. <laughs> Moonbreeder hath fulfilled her destiny, hath she not? Long ago, far across the seas in the Charleian motherland, Moonbreeder and I did study under the sage tutelage of Master Louisois. Full off did he impress upon us that knowledge existeth to serve the greater good. This sentiment, however, was contrary to the nation's policy of neutrality, 
which censured intercedence in the affairs of foreign lands. In spite of vehement opposition, he founded the Circle of Knowing and journeyed hitherto the heart of Eorzea. Through his noble sacrifice was the realm spared its doom. Yet this great soul, whom all should rightly have honored, was branded a pariah in his own land. His peers did accuse him of forsaking his duty as a man of learning and of meddling in the course of history. When he left Charleon behind, Master Louis Soir gave no word to signal his intent to Moonbreeder. Close as they were, as master and disciple, she was deeply wounded by the sudden exclusion from his confidence. Above all, however, she was confused. Dry as she might, she could ill comprehend her master's motive. The slanders that were heaped upon him after his passing served only to inflame the turmoil within her. For years upon end, she knew not what to believe. Torn as she was, twixt the man whom she revered, and the man who forsook her and his duty both. The Louis Soir I knew would never forsake his duty, much less one of his own. This I know full well, my lady. Twas not for want of love that Master Louis Soir hid his intent. He but desired that Moonbreeder discover her own path, free of the shadow of his influence. Long did I contemplate revealing the truth to her, and long did I hold my peace. After all, was it not Master Louis Soir's wish that she come to the truth unaided? Uh, I told myself it was, and resolved to let her suffer. Knowingly did I deny my friend the comfort she craved, and now she hath gone to her rest with doubt still in her heart. Speakest thou in earnest? Did Moonbreeder truly come to understand Master Louis Soir's will before the end? Uh, the realization hath set her free. She may now find the peace which hath for so long eluded her. Oh, Moonbreeder, my dearest, how I shall miss thee. Moonbreeder gave her life that we might possess the means to defeat the Asians. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. Let us continue her work on the Blade of Aether and see it to completion. My lady, I would mourn Moonbreeder in mine own way. I beg your permission to return to the Waking Sands. Of course, my friend. Take all the time you require. We shall be here should you have need of us. Okay, let's talk to Mavilia. Never have I ever seen Roger in so utter defeated. No one should. Well, shall gather in Charlie. We shall gather in the Shrine Manor to celebrate Moonbeer's life and remourn her passing. In memory of Moonbreeder, Mayfly wishes to gather the scions in 
and honored the fallen Membrida. As Membrida was a na native of Charlian, I feel it is only fitting that we gather before the mark of the scholar. Are you familiar with the stone? It is a mum found in Respirant and is sacred to Falak, guardian deity of the city of learning. There shall we pray for our dear friend's soul and bid her peaceful return to the light of the Mother Crystal. So where is this? Oh, it's just outside. Forgive me, Moonbreeder. Had I been quicker or wiser. But I was not, and you paid the price. But you would not suffer us to wallow in our sorrow, would you? You would tell us to pick ourselves up and get on with it. And so we shall. We shall defend this realm and her people to the last. Life for death, a fair exchange. Other bargains will be struck. The Raven Stones.
though we have said our farewells, a pull of sadness has diminished, diminished but little. Forgive me, as Antinian, it's my job to be the pillar of strength for all others to lean upon. Yet I also believe that the grief we feel now is precious in its own way, and not to be lightly swept aside. Do you not agree, Violet? Tis is a dagger what has beaten But it is pain that we must learn to bear if we are to forge ahead with our duty. The battles we fought have taken the lives of so many Moonswa, Moonbruder and the fellows at the Waken Sands. Their spirit and dedication to our cause, however, will never be lost as long as we rise to fight once more. I hardly need to remind you of this, of course. Tis for my own benefit that I repeat these words, reformation of my own chosen path. If I do not re rebuild the foundation of my resolve, I'll, I am like to collapse in a fit of weeping. My apologies again, Violet. There is no other to whom I would display such weakness. You are my pillar of strength, and I fear I should have need of your steadfast presence in the days to come. A victory won, a comrade lost. To honour the fallen, the living forge ever on towards the light of a new day.